Sylvia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... They were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... that they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes, that is my conclusion. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? 
three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... they had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? 
Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system, and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit 
a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay, so we get back to the civilization and assess things. And we get more fires in it too. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. So there is some two missions. The Eye of the Earth. Frost Blastlings. Oh yeah, there's those rebel camps, rebel outposts as well. Alright, we should go exit. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else. Right, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next videos.
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the button. Help my channel to grow up. I'll see you next videos. Bye bye. World always seems quieter when it snows.